As worldwide anger grows over the killing of Cecil the lion, the U.S. government is now on the hunt for the Minnesota dentist who allegedly shot the animal in Zimbabwe. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service says it's looking for Dr. Walter Palmer in its investigation of the death of the protected animal. According to authorities in Zimbabwe, Palmer paid two men to go on the hunting trip to make the kill, luring Cecil out of a wildlife preserve. Compared to other lions I've seen, he's right up in the uh, top. Paul Runzi, a wildlife Paul photographer Michelle, also from Minnesota, shot this video of Cecil in 2011. He says the men who organized the hunt likely knew exactly which lion they were hunting. This professional hunter was working with a man who owned the property adjacent to the park. It's not that there's lions running all over the place and you say, well, guys, who is that, who is that? They know who these lions are. Anybody calling himself a professional hunting guide who does something like that or to lose that kind of status. No Arranged kills are not uncommon in Africa uh, and well, elsewhere. Patrick Condy is a zoologist and heads the Fossil Rim Wildlife Center in Texas. He says legal trophy hunting in Africa keeps wildlife populations in check and boosts local economies. That revenue has enabled many of those local communities in Zimbabwe, in South Africa, and I believe now in Zambia as well. To, to do useful things for the community. In a statement earlier this week, Dr. Palmer said that he thought the hunt he paid for was fully legal, but he has not made any public comments or appearances since. Neither officials in the U.S. or Zimbabwe have charged him with a crime. Robert Bumstead, Associated Press.